But to what end? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to what end? To what end? All this effort and, and for what? All for naught. For the other guy to hold the ledge. And, uh, <laughs> to simply stand up. Shake your hand and I mean, it's away. better to have gamed than never to have gamed at all. To have gamed and lost? No. He didn't lose anything. He's lost like one set. Well, cool. He's still in bracket tomorrow, yeah, man. Yeah, he's lost. That's what I'm saying. It's better to have gamed and lost than to never have gamed at all. I don't know what you're trying to quote. I just made that one up. Um, you know what I'm trying to quote? You know, like loved and lost than never to have loved Why do you say loved and lost then? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, he actually looks broken, man. <laughs> no, I, I misquoted it. It's stupid, stupid. It's better, to have mis it's better to have attempted to quote something and misquoted it than to have never attempted to quote that thing at all. Am I right, chat? <laughs> <laughs> one person in chat. <laughs> Just the one homie. Ready? How's, how's the pods? It's not pod. Oh, they're not hand warmering. Decker straight in there with the forward airs and the nares. And Decker are not bad at this matchup, honestly. Um, yeah. He plays Splice a lot, and Splice could never ever beat him. Luma, already up 2 0. Never mind. <laughs> but I do think Splice had that big syndrome of uh, losing to Decker after 5 years. Sorry. It's alright, man. Sorry, I know, I know. Just, say, just one commentator living in the moment. <laughs> no, no commentator. Oh, that's loud. That's my bad. Using a smartphone. Smartphones are dumb people, am I right, Chad? <laughs> I knew you were a boomer, dude. <laughs> Since day one. Whatever happened to real conversation, am I right, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> interacting one way with the chat and talking about real interactions. <laughs> am I right? Am I right? And they, they, you just assume they say yes. <laughs> Press 1 if you agree with everything I'm saying right now. And like 3 people press 1 out of a 500 person chat and it's like, that's enough. Yeah. I'll take it. Dan can't really be trolling right now. He literally stood there and f smashed like 4 times in a row maybe. Dekar full drew forward fair out of shield, no fastball. Oh! Dekar trolling ridiculously hard and Luma getting owned. Luma needs to figure out how to make Dekar swing from ranges where he's close enough to punish. That's like the the crux of this matchup is like the Dekar matchup of any half math matchup. It's how can I be close enough to math that I can punish him? Yeah, but make him swing. Yeah, and not get hit by the swing. Like and yeah. F Smash is just perfectly covering the space Luma's comfy at. Maybe he just doesn't play against Master F Smash like that. That's taking place, yeah, every time. <laughs> that was a fat tech roll, right? And even when Luma's getting the punish, he's getting like one back there. Dave's big... literally just spamming F Smash. You gotta get big against the uh, oh. It's true. Like, crowd, shield, wave, wow. which is really good, and like, poking with back airs. Uh, you can do that, like, you know how with Fox you can kind of dare Moss, like, early part of his short hop because he's trying to do a late. Or like vice versa. Yeah. Like he would often nerf through me in spots where I thought I could react, like when we were early on and out. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. playing two years. Puff can kind of do the same. She can go in with back airs early or late and uh, mix up. And once Ooh. you hit it back air with Puff, there's like so much money to be had in Puff being off stage. And yeah, back air is. Rest. Yeah. Back air is just ridiculous. It's just like the, the tool. It's just like they hold away, they're in an edge card spot, hold in. It's another one, you know? You never. I, yeah. This matchup it takes so much practice and so much getting used to as Puff. Yeah. And as Mars, to be fair. It's I mean, like living one. in Tasmania with probably like no Mars at all. Oh, you gotta rest that. Oh, you can't rest that, I guess. 100. But Deca probably would have DI'd off the dog. Yeah. That's the player read. He'd be holding it. <laughs> this is such a battlefield tune. Dare I say it, the Battlefield shit. No, there's two songs in every stage. Yeah, that was good. See, that's all you need. You need to, like, whiff punish with the back air and then just get, like, some kind of read on the side there. Yeah. And now it's rest percent. Or rest territory, I guess. Oh, that's gonna kill. Yeah. Just scrape the little gum off the floor. Yeah. Hopefully Luma learned something from that. Um, I know I did. Yep, it's that F smash is unbeatable. <laughs> You shield it, doesn't matter. Do it again. 
It's been with a damn, that's crazy. Crazy how godlike S Smash was before people knew how to wave dash. Yeah, ridiculous move. Oh, Puff actually being able to crouch, understanding grab doesn't really matter against Day, who's not a JC King. Yeah. He's not really grabbing at all in this matchup. He's just swinging. But if he does. go back to the fundamentals of what a dash dance is and then apply it across. Like, a dash dance is when you go towards them, they feel threatened and swing, you drift back slightly and, like, evade the swing, yeah. and then hit them. And, like, he's just not doing it. He's just, like, in bad spots and trying to go in the right time. And it's so reactable as Puff and Puff. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, I never actually... <sighs> it takes a lot of experience to play this matchup, like you said before. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't think Loom is going to find the answer to that in day one. Yeah. But like maybe he'll be able to find Deco reads. Yeah. yeah. Uh, FR from the sorry. This is going to be mainly come down to player adaptation. Yeah, that's it. That was sick. Yeah, I think it's going to be a punish game carrying if Loom does manage to take this. Yeah. Imagine Deco coming third in this pool. Ooh. That's scary. Yeah, Zane does this uh, really cool pivot F smash. I just want to see a little bit of that from Decker, you know? Yeah, maybe we'll see it next time. <laughs> next tournament. Yeah, ne maybe next grab he gets, he'll know to do it. Yeah, nah. Oh All my right. god, that looks so cool when the blade just misses. Ooh, that's a big flop. Makes it back there. I think it like almost worked out better. You reckon? Because he would have missed the F smash. And Luna, just every time he takes a hit, he's just tanking it and going back over the floor there. Yeah. He's like kind of abandoned the idea of like cleanly playing the neutral and is like, okay, yeah. look, I'm just going to like scramble. Yeah, like he's, he's comfortable getting close because he knows he's out of shield game and will be able to do it. Just like then. And he knows that Dekka's swinging with moves and like drifting forwards a lot. Whoa. So brutal. So that like if Dekka misspaces something, then he's always got like a fair that he can challenge Moth with. Yeah. Deco looking kind of bored. That's yeah. the usual kind of game face, I guess. But, uh, Great tipper. <laughs> that pound from the ledge is so bad against Moth. Like, what's a hit him? Yeah. He, just, he didn't do it deep. I think it can only be good if you, like, jump all the way in, and then when you're about to land, you pound it. So you the silly. Uh, it's just really silly. I'm like, just getting up air rested. Yeah, this is one of those, like, watching a low-level ICs type situation. Yeah. Where, like, you can tell that Lumi doesn't really understand how the matchup works so well. But every now and then he gets that hit to death. Yeah. Holy shit, Geordi's fit so fresh. Yeah, it's not the same boy, it's looking good. Geordi always be looking good these days. He does. He could be looking good up. He could be looking what are you saying? He could be looking good, duh. How? <laughs> what? I don't know, I just need to see the shades on. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> he actually looks so fresh. Ooh. I actually don't know what I'll do if Dave loses this. I may cry. The thing is, it totally invalidates me going up to Luma and teaching him how to play this matchup. He yeah, because he's like, no, I'm good. Yeah. If he loses and I'm like, yeah, this is what you're doing wrong, I feel like I have a platform. <laughs> but if he wins, it's like, yeah, no, actually the way you play this is just going for Dave. To, like, Has Luma played Nangs yet? I suspect Nangs will win. Oh, that Milo practice would be huge, yeah. Nangs is good at that matchup. <laughs> Just closed his eyes. Wow. That, I can't believe that worked. After he, like, he showed his hands so many times. Yeah. And One thing that's really good and really fast, well, that works on stage, is like, only pretty much this in Yoshi's, is back throw up air at high percents. Because um, it kills at, like, 110. DI dependent, uh, yeah. assuming that they're going to DI away for the F throw. Yeah. But a lot of the time with Puff, it's a mix up that's like, it doesn't matter whether you down throw or F throw, because the amount of lag on the down throw is so much less. Yeah, yeah. You mean F throw, sorry? Uh, both. Like, you know how down throw is usually the much slower throw? Yeah. Because Puff's so light, they're actually more comparable. Oh, really? Yeah, like F throw and down throw. So, like, down, like when you want to get a follow up with down throw or F throw to like fair or something. They're like kind of interchangeable in the DI best. Yeah. I mean the same thing is with um 
So you can't really rely on Puff DI'ing out for the forward throw because Puff is equally scared of both the forward and the down throw. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. The thing is, back throw is also um weight dependent. It, like, it's just a snap. It's a snap throw back. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a big punish. No. Oh, if that was a roll, we'd have an even game. Maybe. Good spacing on that there, actually. I like yeah. That. I think Dave just needs to hold his ground more. And he needs to recognize, like, Puff is sometimes being allowed to just drift slowly down to Dave, and Dave's, like, shielding instead of doing a move. Yeah. Like, me or, like, Spud or someone with, like, better reactions with, like, up tilt or up air. Mm. Like, that one's different because he was in lag, but, um... I don't like that he's nairing. Nair is, like, pretty garbage against Puff in the spots that he's playing it. Also, very scary in this matchup is, like, roll into Puff and then up wow. tilt. Because up tilt often shield pokes, and Luma is kind of going for that a lot in this game, which hasn't quite worked out, but, uh... It's gonna be a kill. Yeah, of course he's gonna swing there. He's swung there every time. Yeah, Luma trying to wait for the side B, but, um... Oh, good count. Smart. Genius. <laughs> Magical. <laughs> Mythical. Oh god damn it. Oh. Decca, like he's already thrown away a big lead against Ruben. So it's not like out of the realm. Decca not the fortress of mentality that he used to be back in the day, I would say. Fortress of mentality. He was. He really was the clutchest guy back in the day, you know, that was his uh, forte. Shout out to Forte, who was also here today for uh, anime Ooh. games. <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 I could have almost killed him. You reckon? Is that it? Oh, yeah, wow, that didn't even tip on it, just owned him. Yeah. I don't mind seeing it. It's good to see the king still around. I am inclined to get off commentary. Yeah, okay. I definitely need to warm up for Bracky. Should I get somebody? Ella, Alex, commentary? I don't Nah. I don't. I, I can't really make the call. <laughs> After what? 